Hello you, welcome to Geekism. Oh, me things aren't on. Sorry, we've been a bit, <laughs> been a bit rushed this morning. We've been uh, packing up to move tomorrow. We move house tomorrow. It's crazy. Um, I don't know why I said it like Christopher Walken. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, where's, my, where's my thing? Yes, there we go. I should be able to do that and that. There we go. No. There we go. Uh, you can get your nose out. Nothing here for you. There we go. Where's that light coming from? That's no good, is it? There. There we go. Oh, look at this pro operation. Do, 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 do. Right. So, we, are we live? People, can people see us? Hello, you. Yeah, there we go. The hello is coming in now. Good stuff. Hi, folks. How are we? You have to excuse me a moment. I'm having any breakfast. Got the tell on toast today. Hmm. In the way. Out. Come on. Yeah, could you mind there? Uh... Come on. I'll follow you my breakfast. We don't beg. Indiana. Come on. Sit. No. Sit down. So, no fauna, yeah. We, uh. Looks like you just ejected a blood fly in my arm, that's cool. Um, I get to see some little ones again tomorrow. Oh, that's nice. That's awesome news, Becky. Well, thanks for being here. You had to catch up with these afterwards, weren't you, as well? Yeah. Yeah. Come. Yeah. Away. I don't know what you're doing with her. <laughs> <laughs> Go away. No. No. Get down! Come here. I'm not having you beg. Go away. What a naughty doggo. Um, this one is coming. Can't believe that's a bit too long. Well, I was going to set the time back last night and I completely forgot about it. It was only it was only left a day. We couldn't find Fawny yesterday. So we now have whoever that is on the thumbnail. Um... <laughs> Male. She's a little duck. I mean, she's fine. She's a snooty duck, but she's not who we want. She's not who we want. Uh, she's not. So that's it. We're stuck with there. Uh, we're stuck with male. I think what we'll do is just bring Bo in for now. Hmm. There's a duck. She won't be staying murder pup, don't worry. So how'd you get rid of her? Well, we can bring Bo in. And then we have to wait for somebody to move out to get bow. That's the problem then. So you can get a poster. Yeah, yeah, we'll do that. We'll get a poster. Who's invaded mail? Get a fauna amiibo. Could get a fauna amiibo. That's probably not a bad idea, actually. Let's have a look. I get a form and a rebo.
You can see it again. No, I don't think so. We'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll 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 bring Bo in for now, short term, because we have Bo's amiibo. Amiibo, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Right, we'll do that then. We'll bring Bo in. Watch the Japanese YouTube genre where you just watch people eat. <laughs> yeah, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. It's like a proper thing though, isn't it? Alright, anyway, we'll crack on. We'll um we'll sort our flowers out, we'll put all these new mall tickets away. The fact that we've got those, the problem is there isn't really anyone I would really happy to go in there, really. I wasn't too happy about Audi going. I was only letting Audi go because I thought we would get Fauna. At least the ducks are cute. Yeah, she's not... The problem is she's a bit of a Karen duck. She's got like a proper like bob haircut and she's a snooty personality type. Mukbang. That sounds right, yeah. Were you, were you into it? Are you loving it? <laughs> All right, we'll clear up here then. Anyone? Anyway, what's everyone for breakfast? Well, I've had. Let's have on toast. Would you believe it? You can let her out again. There. Sorry, now I've finished. It's a Karen dog. <laughs> Oh yeah. Now? I thought you said half eleven. A tailwind. <laughs> Let, there's no turbulence. We're going to become rowing and teas and coffees. Get down, please. Come on, you're better than this. You're better than this. You've had your dinner. You've had... What did she have this morning? What did she have this morning, sweet? I love, absolutely love talking to myself. <laughs> um, I had toasted muffins with apricot jam. That sounds fantastic. You sound like you're out of an Enid Blyton book. <laughs> the Karen should, her name should be Karen. I did think that. Yeah. <laughs> Do we have fauna? We don't. We don't have fauna. We have some rando duck turning up tomorrow. You can take her if you like. Thank you, Neve. I, I can't, until I've got a space for her, I, there's nothing I can do, and I don't have a space now. Somebody else has offered me one as well, but that's just how it goes. Can't uh, can't just randomly take her. Unfortunately, we have to wait for somebody to move out now. I think I'm pretty sure it's like set now. That, that now that one's sold. It's it's set in stone. Uh, okay, what have we got here? Ooh, another red one. Let's bring up our rose breeding. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. So, we really want orange off these ones. That's the problem. Um, okay. That one, we've just seen if it's a good purple. These two can randomly make a very small chance of a blue. Uh, these ones here... Felix, welcome! Hi Felix, get to have some, uh, hello, using the chat for Felix, joining the Geek as a membership. Welcome to the team Felix, thanks very much for the support. Okay, so, absolutely, I'm going to go with the wishing chair. Sounds like good. I used to do loads of them when I was a kid. Are we teaching to replace her with Bo? No, I'll just do it over the next couple of days, because it means we can get a new, uh, a me uh, a new uh, picture and stuff. As somebody pointed out. Right, so these red roses have got a very small chance of making blue. So we're going to put those there. Um, this we're still checking if it works. And then this one, we're, orange is what we want here. We want a, just a single orange will do. And then over here. So purple, these are making the good purples that we need. So that's no good. And these ones are making the first tier purples we need, so that's no good either today. 
We have to get Flora. Is the duck on the cover? Is the duck on the cover? I'm afraid, Olivia. Yeah, <laughs> we could not find Flora. Uh, for now, and I forgot to set the time. I'm so annoyed at myself because I was going to get up and set my time back so we could have another day searching today. And I woke up this morning and I was like, oh no, who have we got? We got some Karen duck. Cuddle duck. <laughs> Never mind. We'll bring in Bo. He's cool. The only problem with Bo is it would mean it would literally give us like five lazies, would it? Let's have a look. We'd have, we'd have Sherb, Zucker, Stitches, and no, we'd have four lazies. So yeah, that that's no good. Hi Jennifer Vlogs, I'm good, thank you. How are you? So yeah, I think we will have to still push. Maybe we'll like Bo. I don't know. Like who else? Who else could we lose? I'm pretty happy with Stitches, and I'm pretty happy with Zucker, and obviously King Sherb. You know, Prince Sherb is not going anywhere. Really make the most of the weekend streams? Yes! They're even too late to stop by on my lunch break. Oh no! If you want to subscribe for a while, I was waiting for payday. Yes, Felix, I really do appreciate it. Thank you. You are you are now giving me my payday. That's how this works. Genuinely, the money we take from memberships just goes straight into just living. Paying bills, everything like that, you know. So I really do appreciate it. Great news on the mood tomorrow. I hope it all goes well. Paul, you want to see the house, mate? Yeah, let me see if I can... The, the webcam's pretty stuck. Let me see if I can show you this. Here's the living room. <laughs> that's what we're dealing with at the moment. Let's bring it up bigger so people can see. There we go. There's uh, that's Xander's furniture. That's uh, living room furniture. That's some kitchen stuff. And then there's bag of clothes. And then there's a computer. Look at the state of that. That's what we're living with today. Until we go. That's how it goes, eh? Uh, Marengo Pedro. No, 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 no. No, I, I, I need to. You do get nothing done with all those lazies. Exactly. We need to clear out a lazy. We can't have four lazies on the island. It's ridiculous. Three is too many. Honestly, three is too many. So that that would be my next point. Then would be I would like, I would like a cranky. Next step on the dream, though. That's it, mate. Yeah, next step up there. It's not quite the Canadian dream, but it's definitely a couple of steps up the ladder. We're moving up to a... We're not moving up to, like, a nice in-ground marble pool, but we are getting a decent 12-foot pool, you know? So it's it's, a, it's another step. It's a little closer to to when 10 years ago Nicola said to me, have you ever thought about moving out of the UK? And I said, well, yeah, maybe. I said, what, are you, what are you thinking? I said, I wouldn't move to America. She went, no, I was thinking about Canada. I said, oh, they all have big houses with swimming pools in Canada. <laughs> oh, Indy, chasing the tail. Get that tail. It's just getting away from you, and it, Papa. Um, uh, so have you hired a van? Or do you have a company moving you? Uh, if I had a trebuchet, yeah, <laughs> it's just going to... Pop it over the wall. Uh, no, we've had a U-Haul. Yeah, uh, we. You, I, I would love to pay somebody to come and do it, but we haven't really got that expense. <laughs> we haven't really got that disposable income right now. So uh, yeah, I've got to go and pick a U-Haul up tonight. Um. Uh, yeah, Octavia might be a good swap. That's not a bad show actually. Still an octopus, but grumpy, right? Yeah, that's not a bad show. It's maybe. Um. All we need now is a mohawk or something. I've been there, done that. Pull this to the pool, great in the summer. You're the right, most Canadian travel. Yeah, well, that's a mean, right? <laughs> Especially with this summer, where a lot of the places we would normally go, like splash pads and stuff, are most likely going to be out of action for a while. Uh, I think the, the fact that we're getting a pool is going to really, really help us. So. Yeah. So, especially for Zan. So, right, okay. So that's is that roses done there? Not not much progress on roses today. I suppose we've got one one possible red. Is that it? Okay. I'm totally not saying it because I've seen Octavian twice. Oh, no way. We just opened our pool and it's so clean and already 22. Yeah, it would be the same here. No Scotia's had some extreme hot weather. The last, this last week here, it's been mid 20s all week. It's been great. Another blue. Blue sky today. I think the temperature's a little cooler today, it feels. What are we on today? Let's have a look. 
Um, oh, I reckon it's 11 at the minute. It's, oh, that's cold. It's going to get up to 15. But then all of next week, this is next week in Celsius, 23, 27, 24, 24, 28, 24, 23. Perfect. Great week to start ball opening. Can't wait. But yeah, eventually I would like a, a proper, you know, a nice in-ground pool. But, uh, but for now, this one we've got is good enough. Okay. Right, so that's right. I don't know what to do myself today. I'd all set. I was all set for doing another Nook Miles tour. And now I'm absolutely at a loss. I suppose we can invite Bo. If I go back in time, will the plot go back to being empty? It won't, will it? Who's the ducky? The ducky's who's rocking up to fill Fauna's space. It should have been Fauna's. Uh, it doesn't have the same effect looking backwards. And to us, you are looking at your island. Sorry, what? <laughs> she's a cow and don't get attached, she's not saying no. No, the house will appear tomorrow, yeah. Be moved in. Boo! You looked at them. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Yeah, no, I'm. Oh, I see. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm looking at them in there. Rip Raymond. For the weather. For the weather, yeah. Oh, no. Did you rage quit? No, no. I just ran out of time. I unfortunately have a, have a life as well. And it's really annoying. It gets in the way of Animal Crossing. Um. Yeah, I suppose we could do some work on Anchor's area. Flora. I do. You scare me then, Flora. You would not be going anywhere, Flora. You're one of my favourites. You bought turnips? No, not this week. Don't bother now. Beautiful here in the UK. Lovely and warm. Mid-twenties. I do wish the uh, Victorian terraces in mining towns had bigger back gardens. I'll get a paddling pool. My it's, it's on a slope. Oh yeah, yeah. We were this. We couldn't do. It. We had a, we had a little paddling pool in the, in our house in Liverpool, like 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 that big, just for him in to sit in basically when he was a baby. So what's today's plan, Jolie? I honestly don't know. Um, probably do a little bit of work on anchors. I'm not. The problem is I'm not feeling particularly creative today, and I was hoping I could get away with just doing island tours, looking looking for uh, you know who. I really don't feel like carrying on with this area at the moment. <sighs> yeah, a bit disheartened by it all. Rose guy's still open. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Let's uh, let's check out the shops. That might perk us up a little. A bit of retail therapy. Boom. You better, mummy. I was stomping round. Steam come out of my ears. <laughs> yeah. Just put it in today and decide to sell them right away, just in case you accidentally time travel backwards at some point. That's fair enough. Did you get a good price for them? Oh, the piano's back again, look. That thing. I actually prefer this to the other kimono stand we've got, so I'm going to buy that. What is that? Is this like a dryer? Yeah. What's the name of the duck moving in? Male? 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 I don't know. M A E L L E. I got my stones in the same place. Yay! Good job, Emily. Didn't take too long in the end. Molly is the duck. She's a normal. It's not Molly. It's Mel. Melle. Mele. I think. 
I hope enough. Good luck with the move tomorrow. Cheers, Olivia. Uh, oh, look at that hairstyle. That's great. Let's go and have a look what we got today. Yeah, da da uh, dinner apron, humble sweater. Oh, I don't mind the apron. Diner apron. I might pick up one of those. What else have we got? Okay, it's half. Oh my word, that's a bit uh, revealing. What else have we got? I think we've got that robe already. Uh, hairpin, cyber shirt. This thing. I've never seen that before. That's awesome. I'm buying that. Yes, please. No, I don't want to wear it though. <laughs> yeah, Mo I'd have been fine with Molly. Molly could have hung around for a bit. But it's not Molly, it's Maya. We've got a Gun Gary hat in my Ables today. Very excited considering I'm Scottish. Oh, awesome. Yeah, no, Molly would have been great. We'd have, we I mean, I, she, I wouldn't have picked her, I don't think, but I would have been happy for Molly to hang around for a bit. Oh, there's elaborate and regular. That's interesting. I think the regular looks better. Uh, oh, just ruined a golden rose. Some of my day up. Okay. I mean, there's loads of little areas we still need to work on. Like this area here, we'll make a nice little picnic spot or something as we're coming out of the swamp. Uh, okay. Right, bow is a meat bow. Let's do that. Let's start bringing in bow. Now, we're sorry for your June Critters video. Fish paint prepared, a bunch of nets for the hunt. Page in my notebook dedicated to writing down the new critters on the locations. Awesome! It's all ready to go. It's all set and ready. That's your video tomorrow because I'm most likely not going to live stream with the move. Mayel, I think you'd say it. Yeah, really not sure. Why does that need to be in here? Someone else will have to leave before she can. So who are you kicking out? Or oh, that one I was told. Yeah, I don't yeah, I I don't think that's true. Because we, we put Bo in and kicked him out for Coco to get Coco's house fixed and it, and she, he was the most recent, so. How much chance to catch up on yesterday's stream? I'm guessing you didn't find Fortnite. Unfortunately not Ellen though. No. He did not buy Fauna. We've got some rando duck coming in. So we're going to use... Um, we're gonna, oh, where is it? Oh, no. Where's my little... There it is. <laughs> my little pot. Um, we're going to use Bo's amiibo to kick her out. And then Bo's not ideal for us, as lovely as he is. It does give us, like, four lazies. So. Yes, I do. Now, Bose doesn't normally work on this Joy-Con. Yeah, so I think I'm at it. Right, there we go, mate. I'll pull the switch out a sec. Got to do it on the Joy-Con, on the Joy-Cons, not on the thingy. Uh, do, do, do. You can get anyone regardless of where they join. Yeah, I thought so. Just drop in and say hi before bed. Hope you have a nice stream. Cheers, Claire. Have a good night. Nice to watch you live from Oz. Welcome, Nuka Ninja. Do, 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 do. Right, here we go. Invite. Beautiful. Aussies. A, yeah, a, not not O Z Z. I don't think. No, I think it's A U. Bo is a me bo. Yeah. What are you doing? Are your mommy telling you off? You're such a beautiful girl. You're just a naughty beautiful girl, aren't you? Problem. 
Hi, it's Lovable Bo. I love how he calls himself Lovable Bo. <laughs> what about the other Rebo cards you had coming with Cal Yeah, they were all naff. <laughs> Uh, so it's like in a call. It's like a mystery. Who's calling? Why? What did I do? Or forget to do? I can't answer. I'm fresh from the shower. I gotta know who's calling. Oh, chill out. It's me. I'm chill out your eyes. <laughs> I'm sorry. My dog is doing absolute zoomies right next to me. Why are you so wound up, Indy? Why are you so wound up, puppy dog? She's sat here going red the tail. Let <laughs> me like show you. Got this. Got that tail. She's very wild. And what's going on? He looks high. He does. Yeah, he does look a little stoned. Yeah. <laughs> That's really quite loud. It's like 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 piercing. They, I'm sure it said half eleven. Are they are they got there quicker up there or what? Oh, we could buy some turnips. Oh, she can't. Oh my god, this dog. Oh no, it'll be all right. Turn that around. <laughs> right, let's go and see what Bo yeah. wants from us. What a good puppet. She's not a good puppet, Jacqueline. She's been a terror. She's a terror of the high seas today. She's into everything, chewing stuff up. She's having a crazy day today. She's cute. I'll give you that. She's cute. She's not a good dog. Not today. Yeah, she's been like nipping at ankles and stuff. Indiana! Drop it. Yes. No, she drops it around the corner there. Why are you being a terror? Why are you being a terror dog? Randa can't leave Indiana for now. I can see what Bo wants me. What's up, Randa? Camping food is all about s'mores, chocolate graham crackers and a toasty marshmallow. Man, I wish I could eat s'mores at home. Too bad that there's no way to toasty marshmallow like fires, it's true. Can't be done. If you want things to change, it'd probably be a bit of anxiety with the move. Maybe, yeah, with the furniture being all moved and stuff, yeah. She doesn't know we're moving. But, you know, the furniture's shifted around, she's probably getting a bit stressy. You can do it really? Yeah, that's so cool. I'll give you this then. A recipe for a sauna heater. Oh, nice. Oh, I think I've got one of those already. Yeah, it's all going to the new house tomorrow, Xander. Yes, baby. Yeah. Oh, lots of new house, yeah. Salt Lake is an odd choice for a catchphrase. It is really, because, like, I, I can understand that that's something they like to do, but, like, does he want to lick me? Up Nicholas' house today, add another room or something. I've made progress on that for a while. Casey, that's a fantastic idea. I think that's exactly what we'll do. You mean you haven't told yet? No, no, I haven't told yet. Sorry. I haven't told Indy that we're moving. Are you taking a break while you move? Uh, probably just tomorrow. I'm hoping that we get up and running in a day. Um. I'm hoping we just miss tomorrow. And there's a video going out tomorrow. It just won't be a live stream, probably. If we do, if we smash the move, like, and I can get my PC set up tomorrow tomorrow night, we'll do a late stream. But um, no promises. Uh, what do you need? Sauna heater, stone, iron, and wood. The classics. Okay. We've got that. Don't king shame, Bo. Well, I will if I'm her king. He's king. Get Bo's uh, gender mixed up. 
Uh, wood. Stone. And iron. Here we go. I think it's unacceptable. It's like you haven't even thought about us. Like I say, Tom, there is a video going out and there will be a helpline you can call. Puppies be like, how can I wreak the most havoc? I know. Yeah, she's probably, like a lot of people say in the chat there, she's probably just getting distracted with all this stuff for you. And... It doesn't mean she can destroy everything you write. You deserve a break anyway. I don't know about deserving a break. I play I play Animal Crossing for two hours a day. <laughs> like you know, there are much worse jobs. <laughs> uh, put in storage. Put in storage. Put in storage. I'm moving in mid July. So exciting! Yay, Ellen. Have you got far to go? Is it a big move? Oh, well, any move is a big move, right? But. You do, yeah. It's still it's still stressful. You've still got to get everything out of one house and into another house. You know it. One day, someone from Ice Island thought sauna heater, and then ran to a DIY bench and made it, and made their thought into a thing. I don't know if that story's true, but man, it's inspiring. Let me give you my rhinestone shades as a thank you. At the moment, my cat just knocks everything off the top of the fridge. Oh no, including zero boxes that have exploded all over the floor. Oh no! Yeah, we only have two two glasses in the house at the moment. Here's one of them. Actually, you you've broken most of them. <laughs> okay, the whole music is just for the greater good. I repeat. I love that. I love that. Um, and Tom's trying his best to start a cult, and like we all think the best he can do is the is the cult out of Hot Fuzz, like full of old people who live in Middle England. <laughs> okay, that's bow done. All right, so let me check my mail, and then we'll see if we've got a few things to send over to Nicola to do somewhere there. Moving from Norway to Finland in August. I'm really excited. I won't have too much to bring though. Oh, that's ace. I hope it goes well for you. Have your cats started to stress? No, they're both fast asleep. Players of your home simply uses originality. It's got a real school feel to it. Sometimes it's best to forget about points and just design something fun. Uh oh. That's a bit of a backhanded compliment, isn't it? It's very you. The Happy Home Academy that comes and rates your house every week. Uh, my shiny new stale cupcakes. Wow, thanks, Nicola. <laughs> Nicole. <laughs> um, thanks for visiting. Like the look of this when you were here. Good luck with the move. Thank you, Chloe. Cole. There you go. Dictator chat returns to, to see the cult expanding. I suppose you're all welcome to join it if you want to. Could be hollow ears. It could be, yeah. More oh, points than me, though. Well, yeah, but you've had to like use one of your rooms to have my face and loads of dolls on it for the last month. Uh, Bo's poster. Oh, awesome. We're going to put that up now. Enjoy. Thank you, Lauren. I will. I think that's 150 as far as we can go because we got the goal. Oh, it's a song, Stale Cupcakes. Also, I was thinking, have she sent cupcakes and they've gone off or something? <laughs> Aloha as well. Fantastic. Bo's poster. Oh, we've got some good gifts today. Thanks, folks. Clay furnace. Uh, Garden warmer, kettle, bathtub. 
Nice stuff. Good stuff. Okay, let's learn these. Close to me can be worse than father. Yeah, part of me thinks that could be true, you know. Nice, what do they look like? Sorry, it's been an early start this morning. Uh, oh, awesome. Oh, they're both great. Thank you. Dolls room, clearly. All of the points. Yeah. Yeah, mega points for dolls. If this go if this cult goes all the way up to the Happy Home Academy, then I don't know what chance I've got. Shuffle, we like that. I'll shuffle that one. Don't leave your hand open or come back and find your villagers or cult members. I know, right? Come back and they all in their, blue, their black hats. Okay. Head coverings and leaflets. Yeah. Have you thought about a cult? Oh, that's something else we can do today, is those, is those uh, cushions. Let's, let's get this to be a low hand. Yeah? Right. I've got all the stuff. Yeah. So it's alright then. Okay, so what's this thing? Oh, that's Ace. Oh, that could go here. That looks totally good. That looks like I know it says it's a bathtub, but that'd look really good as like a like as if we're having a luau or something. Clay furnace and oh, we gotta put those posters in. Clay furnace. I feel like the clay furnace would go well down here as well. Maybe this. Maybe we put food here and the Easter egg can go somewhere else. The Easter head. Is going to be, oh, that's so good. Yeah, I feel like this could go over there as well. I'm back. The cat didn't do as much damage as I thought. The cereal was the worst of it. Oh no, not the cereal. Oh, oh right, yeah. Ah. Oh. Was he not? <laughs> did, did you give him one? Did you have to go back and give him one? Xander has a plain Weetabix for his breakfast every day. Just, I mean, not like, like, like dry. He has milk on it. But no sugar or anything like that. Weetabix, some milk, just warmed up. He has had it. He has had it every day since he could eat. Apart from occasionally, like every few weeks, we'll have pancakes. But pretty much, it's the only thing that he's consistently eating. Because other things he's gone off fads, like he likes it and then he doesn't like it, and you know. But every single day since he was about six months old, he's had. A warm, plain Weetabix. And I thought we'd run, Nicola thought we'd run out. We hadn't, I, had, I bought some the other day. Um, and gave him some Rice Krispies, and he was not happy. <laughs> Thank goodness Coco's house is an old wooden straw next to this fire. What? Shush, it's fine. Uh, quickest way to make bells. If you want them like, if you need them like super quick, fish. Just stand and fish. Stand at the pier and fish with bait. Coco's ears remind me of Weetabix. Yeah. What do you think like Weetabix is the end of the 
Weetabix aren't that big in Canada now. They, like you can get them in Walmart, but there's literally like one one box of them on the face. Like there's other things that are like got actually absolutely lows and lowers, but Weetabix aren't so popular. What are Weetabix? Uh, it's almost like that. It's double E. They're like I'm trying to think of another cereal that I've even seen that's like them. Weetabix was the Aldi ripoffs we used to buy. Um, would you like to see a Weetabix? Nicola's going to get you a Weetabix so you can all see. Kids can be so peculiar about what they eat. They really can. Like I say, I've never known anything like so consistently be eaten by him. I love Weetabix. I'm not a fan myself. I don't mind them, but I like them with like sugar or fruit or something. Not okay, so here's what Weetabix looks like. Weetabix with a double A. Oh, the cereals are available. I can't show what one looks like. I know what I'm trying to get one. I want to show them an actual Weetabix. Shredded wheat. No, I don't think it is like shredded wheat, is it? It's like, a, a, kind of like a big version of shredded wheat, but less structured. There's a Weetabix. And it just turns to mush. And you put it, put milk in it and warm it up. And they, and they mush up. Is that what's this sound? Weetabix. Weetabix. Yeah, you can. It's not Weetabix time, though. No, Mummy was just showing Daddy's friends the Weetabix because they didn't know what it was. Who eats, who eats the Weetabix? Grandma. Oh, what's this? When does Grandma what, what, do you, what do you have for breakfast? No, Weetabix. Do you have Weetabix? Grandma, why Weetabix? You want to do three digs? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, you, oh, I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> just got to lay on some hay. Oh, huh? This is the concept I'm here for. <laughs> Getting to show what a Weetabix is. Yeah? We're going to dig the shiny. Eh? How many digs are we going to do? Tiny. How many digs? Ten. No, not ten. How many? Ten. Ten. No, not ten. Mommy, no, ten. Not ten, well, you mommy. Have, you have to negotiate down from ten. How many? Dad, three. Three? <laughs> huh? What's that? It's Indy with a bone, trying desperately to stop a gnawing furniture. Okay, let's do three digs. And the lady. The lady? Yeah. Is there a lady? Oh, there's this. What? There's a fish, yeah. Tell about it. Job land. Oh, there. Oh, there's one. Tiny do. We'll find. Oh, missed. Missed. Fossil. 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 That's Fossil. 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 Shiny and dog and a star as well. Which one are we doing first? Shiny dog. Oh no. <gasps> What's that? No, Shiny. I must have one. Then daughter. And stars turn as well. Mommy. Yeah. Last that was that was your last one. Good job. No one. You said three. What do we say? <laughs> we found the shiny. If you want to do another one, what do you say? Peace. Okay. Here we go. Let's have a look. There we go. How did Napgate go? Uh, he's not currently napping. He's currently wiping the nap out. Although yesterday he did fall asleep and have about 15 minutes on the sofa while we watched the spaceship go. Let's see, what can we 
you say? Oh, don't! Oh, we can't see a star, can we? Struggling today. Your last one. Mm. Right, what'd you say? Here's some chips. Aren't you a lucky boy with chips? You're <laughs> struggling to find you on here, kid. Did you find Fauna? No, Moose Ox. That duck on the thumbnail is who's turning up. There one right here somewhere. Yeah. There it is. What do you press? With your, with your greasy chip fingers. <laughs> yeah! What's that? What'd you get? Fossil. You say bye to everyone. Bye, Wolverine. Focus is. There we go. We now return to our regular scheduling. Oh! <laughs> He's going to be a pro gamer when he's older. He isn't. He's going to get a proper job. Alright, what were we doing? Have we got rudely interrupted? The bow's poster. No, oh, no, I think the stairs are the other side. See so what, we won't do Nicholas House today because I need to get make sure we've got all the stuff. I don't really want to keep running back and forth between characters. But I have there's something else I'll be wanting to do for a while, so we'll we'll do that. We'll play in the moment. Find a place that Easter. Oh yes, we do need to find a place that Easter around the head. Yes. Oh, the very noisy is down here. Hey, also, I was trying to find. Don't worry about it, Fitzy. How are you? Welcome. Thanks for coming. Maybe we should do some stairs on the side. It's not a bad idea. Look at the bow. We haven't already got a bow, have we? No. Good. What's that supposed to mean? Three digs is the regular schedule in the S true, yeah. Very quickly became three as the standard, didn't it? Where three digs is from one, and he's settled with three, and he's happy with three. Like the point where he, he does the third one, or that one he had an extra one. But as soon as it comes up, he goes, like that tries to get down. Like, oh, my work here is done. <laughs> uh, catching up with me tomorrow. Yes, sir. That's a noisy bow in Indiana. Right. It's gross. So, today, I want to have a go at the farm because I'm not so happy with how it's looking right now okay on the back wall in the corner the second bow is there a is there a second bow is there oh okay we'll all sort that out later so I've got I like I like the I like this kind of space the hay I like I like this but I don't like where it is and I don't like these flower, these two five by five flowers because we're not we're not doing that anymore. It's kind of useless, right? Uh, and I've seen some other people do some stuff that I think looks loads better. And I think we could, we deserve to give um, Barb and Nathan more space. So that's going to be today's plan, I think. So here we go. Is that there already? Goodness. Great summary. Yes, we didn't get four. John showed everyone what a wheat bigs was. And Xander got four digs. 
That's all the key points as to what happened in this stream today. Highlighting the stream. Make a pond with ducks. I think I would like to do that by the by the um, swamp. If you have a stool that your mom sends you, they make perfect cabbages. Which one's that? Is that the mum? The I've got one thing like that, but you can't make it green, I don't think. Have you got blue roses yet? No, working on it, but not here. We're not working on it. So that's why I want to kind of clear this space out. One cautions of moss balls and planted bamboo close together in my farm. Yeah, that that's the kind of thing I'm thinking of doing. Those moss balls, despite them on plates, I still think they look pretty good. Yeah, I'm back. Hi, well, welcome back. Uh, it's named after the flower of the moment. So yeah, well, yeah, it's a. I think I think your mum might. Mumsel is good for ah in white for cabbages, right? Yeah, yeah, it's named after the the mum flowers. Yeah, that's the one. I think we've got one of those somewhere in red. Clear this out. Put on some tactical like scarecrow. You can put rows of the saplings, and they don't grow. Yeah, that's kind of what you have to do, right? Is make it so they can't grow. We'll have a look at that. Red bone cushions in the swamp. Yeah, I thought so. We can move it and make it white. Oh, Indiana. Chucking that bone around. Hey, we're in game. Uh, da -da -da -da. It would be really good in green, but yeah. No, it look really, yeah, yeah, it looks good. It does look good. And watermelons as well. What am I doing here? No idea. So what point did you give up on Fauna? How many not miles tickets? It wasn't loads. It was I, it was more that we just ended the stream and we at the minute I, I haven't got the time to just sit and play because we've been packing and everything. So we just finished the stream after two hours and kind of gave up. What I was gonna do was set the clock back last night so that we could have looked for her again today, and I just completely got sidetracked with so getting ready for the move. Yeah, cushions that look like seed bags, that's a good thing as well. Uh, I'm going to sell the elaborate one because I really don't feel like I've got a use for it. Sold! 57 grams. That must be the kimono thing that's gone for money. Yeah, watermelon ball. Yeah, they look really good laid out. Okay, so that's them. I'm going to finish clearing all this out. Might probably just get the clearing done today, unfortunately. But I think this can be our new, uh, our new little mini project, doing a better farm. Nikki said, where are you moving to? She can hear you. Hey, Nick. Uh, not far, just the other side of this town, to be honest, that we live in. Um, it, it's not so much that we, we want to move area, we just, we're just moving from an apartment to a house. So we've got some more space, some garden space, driveway. Um, so we're moving from the west of the city to the east of the city. It's about a uh, 20-minute drive from where we are now. Mm -hmm. 
and then we'll probably be here for a couple of years probably yeah two years 18 months two years and then hopefully then we can uh, after those two years we'll be able to buy The Anthurium plant looks good in the farm. Anthurium plant, which was that? Uh, how long are you streaming today? We normally go till uh, at 12, so another hour. Anything can be exciting, but it's so much better. I know, I'm just, I'm so excited to be there and have the space and have the, but I'm not looking forward to tomorrow. Because <laughs> we have, because obviously, no, like today has not been great and uh, tomorrow's not going to be. The problem is we haven't got anyone who can have Xander for us at the minute, obviously. So it's really quite tricky to, he's only trying to help, bless him, but he's really getting in the way. <laughs> Is there a reason why Canadian bacon is just round cut pieces of ham? I, I, like, it isn't. Like, if I go to if I go to buy bacon in the store now, I just it's regular bacon, regular streaky bacon. It's not what you would get in the UK as back bacon. Canadian bacon is more like back bacon, but it isn't. It isn't like that's the bacon Canadians eat. Like, I don't think I've seen Canadian bacon in regular supermarkets. Like, you could probably go to a butcher and get it, but just bacon over here is just the same as North American bacon. It's like English muffins. Nobody eats English muffins in England. Just what they're called. You can get crumpets. Like, like pikelet crumpets. Okay, so I'm, I like... I don't know if I do like this. No, I think I think we're gonna have to move the whole field. I know it's ridiculous. Hey, John T. Did you watch the lunch yesterday? It just the launch. I did. Yeah, <laughs> it's like you know, I would somebody do a special lunch. Uh, I did. Yeah, Nicola's just watching the. Um, Nicola's just watching it docking now. She doesn't want to watch me. Okay, so if we make maybe this top end here field, I think that would probably be more um, good. This country is so embarrassing sometimes. Is it terrible that you're going to have to remind me which country you're in? Because most of them are at the moment. <laughs> like, the world is embarrassing at the moment. I think those two SpaceX guys have got the right idea and are getting off it. Let's talk about food's making me really happy. It happens at every stream. Like even I don't, when I don't even start it, somebody else brings it up. It's food. I have a right craving for a McDonald's breakfast. Well, that's bacon on an English muffin, right? So yeah, <laughs> I can understand that. We're gonna have to have McDonald's or something for lunch today. Oh, tea, all the plates are packed up, what do you want me to do? No, they're not. All the plates will be packed up. Conveniently. <laughs> the one responsible for Canadian bacon and English muffins. Yeah, it is a bit of a weird one, isn't it? They just seem to be Americans. Like, a, a French fries, right? <laughs> like, I don't know what it is about it. I think it's meant to be like, 
like trendy and cool that they come from new different countries I think originally you know I think that's kind of why they why they name stuff like that but yeah it's a funny one that isn't it we've got a barbecue later I can't wait to have a barbecue we get to have a barbecue soon I saw some really nice um like 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 skewer, skewers how do you say it how do you say skewers skewers for some reason Nicola always laughs at me for how I say skewers skewers I want to say skewers I don't is that right because then, then I say skewers and she goes oh skewers <laughs> oh the queen would say skewers chicken skewers yeah she's always on the little satay sticks from Tesco the queen is <laughs> skewers just don't say sounds dead common to me that does skewers <laughs> skewers I, I know the word Kelly I, I mean I don't know I pronounce it skewers and every time I say it Nicola goes oh skewers <laughs> Hi, smelly noob. That's a good name. Nicola is correct. You are weird. Yeah. <laughs> it is a bit poncy. <laughs> Sorry. It's yours. <laughs> I don't know. It's just how it sounds, it sounds right in my head. Skewers. Skewers. Most of the place that sold both Canadian bacon and Taylor have for three years, and I still can't tell the difference. Guess it doesn't help that I don't eat bacon anymore. There isn't really a difference. That's all it is. It's just a piece of ham, basically. I've never heard anyone say it scores before. <laughs> Everyone's trying to spell it scores. Nicola makes fun of you for that because you sound like a madman. <laughs> Skewers it is. It sounds wrong coming out of my head. When I hear myself saying skewers, my brain's going, do you mean skewers? <laughs> Nikki said you're common, you're from Canuck. Uh, excuse me, Nikki, I'm from Hensford, actually. Yeah, I'm from Canuck, girl. Uh... Meat on skewers for the bra are called sausages in South Africa. Sausages, that's a cool word. Sausages. What's a sausage with you? I mean, I am saying it a little over the top now for comedic effect. That's just how I pronounce that word, skewers, that's all. Like, I'm not trying to be posh in with that one word. <laughs> Was funny. It made me fun of saying mayor because apparently in the UK it's pronounced mayor. So what? So how do you say it? Mayor. I would say mayor. Yeah, mayor. The mayor. But it's probably the mayor. I guess. Canadian candy bar scores. Oh no, no, I've seen them. Huh? Can you? Mayor. The mayor. I would probably put like a slight Y in there. Mayor. But yeah, not quite. Not mayor. Yeah, the mayor. the mayor. Even Xander's laughing at you. I know, right? I'm getting absolutely done in by my family here. Kebabs. See, in Australia, so yeah, here they're, they're called kebabs a lot as well. But in the UK, a kebab is, is, a, is a Greek. In, in the UK, if you said kebab, people would think of like Savlaki, wouldn't they? Oh, not Savlaki, what's it called? A gyro. Indiana! What are you doing? Kebab? If I said do you want to go and get a kebab, you, you wouldn't think of a doner kebab. Yeah. I'd think loads of doner kebabs on a plate, which sounds amazing. Yeah. Chicken skewer. Chicken skewer. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah, no, in the UK, I think if you said to most people, I'm having kebab for my tea, or I'm having a kebab. No. I think, no, I'd, I think, I'd still think, 
multiple kebabs. <laughs> He's like a gyro, yeah. That that basically in the in the UK a kebab is like a, a gyro. Wait, is it kebab, kebab or kebab? Uh, it depends on where you're from. It depends on the, the they're, they're all very similar. They're, 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 I think it depends on the country of origin. You put kebabs, kebab. Somebody's saying here. That's a kebab. I have a friend who pronounces fragrance like fragrance, like fraggle. <laughs> I had a. I, I used to have a, yeah, it's probably more of a French pronunciation. Fragrance. A friend of mine uh, used to say sandwiches. Sandwiches? As in, like, I, like, he just used to say it a little bit wrong. Sandwiches. Whenever he had one. I don't say tooth. No, we thought that was beat that one out here. I say tooth. What is a kebab in Canada? I don't know. But if you, but you, but if you wanted, a, if you were in Canada and you wanted a donna kebab, you'd have to, you'd have to go and get a gyro. What about shawarma? So shawarma's wrapped up, isn't it? Shawarma. No, I don't know. Yeah, like a shawarma, yeah. It's only kebab if it's from the kebab region of France. <laughs> Otherwise, it's sparkling meat on sticks. <laughs> <laughs> if I ever put any meat in my mouth and it was sparkling, it would come right back out again. That's fantastic, Julia. <laughs> that would probably tickle me up. I'm ridiculously northern, so I use the common uh, abbreviation for all of them. Have you seen that one of the, the dad, the northern dads, and his kids probably taking the mickey out of him? Because he's like, Rod. <laughs> In Canada, it's kebab, eh? Thanks. Sorry. I watch the DIY show on TV, and they pronounce they pronounce roof and room like rough and rum. Yeah, so they're they're going to be from the north of England, northeast, I guess. Rough. She's been bored of me now. Trying to clean that into twilight. No, where did the, where the hell was the twilight reference? Missed that one. Yeah. We're going up to the rough. Yeah, Lancashire, I think that is. And they call the buzz. Yeah, they call it buzz. And they get buzz. They get on to buzz. Love the word sarnie. I don't know. I wouldn't use sarnie. I mean, I know it's a slang for sandwich, but I wouldn't use Sarni, I don't think. I don't know if it's just an area thing or if I just not really. But is a bap or a cob? It's whatever you call it from where you're from, Talon. Why do we constantly have to talk about this? It depends on where you're from. Place, different places in the country call it different things and that's perfectly acceptable. And if you are from somewhere different that says it's something else, doesn't mean you're right. It just means you live somewhere different. Personally, where I'm from, it's a cob, and you have a cob or a crusty cob. A cob is soft and a crusty cob is crunching, you know, harder on the outside. But where Nicola's from, a cob is only is specifically crusty. If it's not that, it's a bap. Bap? Or a balm. I think it's balm meant to be a bit bigger. Bap and balm, carb, bap, balm, bun. Uh, they do a very good one in the north east of in northwest of England that they probably do elsewhere as well. Called a bin lid, that's like this big, <laughs> and it's cut in half, and it basically are like a full English breakfast put in it. A roll as well, yeah. A roll is probably the uh, what Americans would say, but there's a big thing in the UK. Um, where like for such a small island the word is very very uh the the, the 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 things change so much in the uk so for like i say different areas of the uk you would call it different things a balm a barn a bap a cob a, a, a bun a, a roll yeah and there's a bit of a thing it's i put i put the i put this conversation 
into the same category as like pineapple on pizza and whether Die Hard's a Christmas movie or not. And it's all things that really nobody honestly cares about. Nobody truly cares whether somebody calls it a bap or a balm. Nobody honestly cares whether somebody else thinks Die Hard is a Christmas movie or whether somebody else has pineapple on pizza. But for some reason, on the internet, we have this weird, fake, uh, like, obsession with it, and everyone becomes incredibly uh, uh, polarised on it. But really, nobody cares. That's, that's, that's how I feel about that. I would call it a cob, but if somebody came up to me and said, can, can you pass me a, a bap, I wouldn't say, uh, do you not mean a cob? <laughs> I would say, yeah, here you go. So a muffin, an English muffin, uh, you can get those in the UK, They're not, but it, people aren't sat around eating English muffins, but you, they're available. And they're used on like, that's like the, 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 the McDonald's sandwich, that's like an English muffin, right? And they're nice. Um, um, uh, yeah, English muffins. What was the other thing I was going to say about? Somebody was on about it. A mu but um, a muffin would be more like a like a. If you ask for a muffin in the UK, you'd get given like a blueberry muffin or a chocolate muffin or something like that. You know, that would you, you wouldn't be given like bread. Um, same for the dislike of the word moist. Yes, exactly. Nobody really hates the word moist, but for some reason on the internet they pretend they do. The carb is a stick of corn that you snap off a corn stick. Again, you, that, in, the, in the US, yeah. But in the UK you would say corn on the cob. Like like one of those corn things. That's corn on the cob. But you wouldn't just say corn, would you? Popcorn, sweet corn, corn on the cob. Yeah, you can get cream corn. But yeah, corn specifically, I wouldn't know what to accept, expect. If somebody said, I'm going to give you some corn in England, I think sweet corn, I think, but I don't know. Just the plant, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, knocker, knocker, what are we doing? Chappy? What? Uh, oh, here we go. Another debate. What's the name for that game where you knock on someone's door and run away? Uh, UPS? <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm here all week. Um, I don't know the game. Sorry. Chappy, knock a door, run. Ding dong, ditch. Knock a door. I don't, I don't, this means nothing to me. I've never heard of this game in my life. You would knock on somebody's door and run away? Like a hide and seek thing? An English muffin is a, yeah, a, like in, yeah, a McMuffin. That's an English muffin. But like, wh what I'm saying is that, as, like, I don't want any Americans to think that we all sit around eating English muffins. Dip, you know, yeah. Ding dong ditch doorbell ditch. I don't understand the game though. Like, what's the game? Are you just knocking on random people's doors and running away? That's that's not a game, that's just being an idiot. Nancy <laughs> was a good boy growing up. Yeah, I don't... Knock on a stranger's door and then run away. Why would you do that? So the, so the person who you're knocking the door on isn't even in on the game. It's not like a... You've got to get away from the door before they see you. Well, that I assume that is the point, but they but they're not they don't know it's happening. Nicky Nicky nine doors. <laughs> that I would have played it if it was called that. Literally, you go to a random door, knock, and then run away, rinse and repeat. Yeah, yeah. I never did that. I, I wasn't a prick. Let's <laughs> go and get rid of these flowers. I 
You see it more in movies. I don't think people really do it. Right. I've seen people do like like put a flaming bag of dog turd on the porch so that people come out and put the fire out and then they got poo all over the foot. Like I've seen that in movies like three or four times, but never seen it in real life. Uh, we didn't have a lot to do today, no. We didn't have a lot to do. <laughs> people open the door to see who is there and there's no one there. You hide in the bushes or something to see their reaction. Multiple times the doorman thinks they're crazy. Do they think they're crazy or do they think there's just some prick of a kid knocking on their door? Because that's what I would do straight away. I would open the door and go some prick of a kid's just knocked on my door. That's not swearing here. I had someone put a condom on my door handle once. Preston's a lovely place. Used? Am I keeping the mums? The green mums? They took us a bit of a while to get. I probably will keep those. Excuse kids, ring the doorbell, run and hide, do it again. I was born before computers. So that was our trolling. I mean, I was born before computers. But yeah, I used to, used to like play on my bike or kick a ball around or something. I don't understand going to random people's houses and knocking on the door. I don't understand why we think that's an acceptable thing for kids to do. I'm sorry. <laughs> We need to find John's address and play this game. Jaden, um, I, that, no, you don't. <laughs> um, somebody opens the door and yells, Cuddle Duck. I see. There was a massage pilot at the end of our street when we were kids. We used to push each other in and pull the shutters down. I just, I never used to do anything like that. I, even now, like, as an adult, I hate the idea of being a burden to strangers. Like, almost to a fault than I. Like, if, if I ever think that we're, we're going to be affecting anybody else in what we're doing, I, I don't want to do it. I hate the idea of, of a stranger being put out because of something I've done. And that sounds really weird. So, yeah, I would, I would never have played that game. <laughs> See, I don't like, like a prank is fine again. I think they're a bit stupid, but you know, a prank is fine. But not to somebody you don't know. Oh, we don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's acceptable. That's why we did it. Just to be little turds. Oh, right. I, I, just, I wasn't a little turd then. <laughs> TP someone's house. Is that toilet paper somebody said? No. 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 <laughs> no. How people used to put skeleton used for class in the elevator alone, so that when the elevator was a skeleton. See that's that's fine, I guess. I mean it's still a bit stupid, but you, you know, that's fine. TP TP isn't really a thing in the UK. Well I've used it all my life, I don't know what, what are you doing? <laughs> some uh, bake off and have some shawarma. Lovely. Catch you all later. Cheers, ba uh, cheers Bakey. I was going to call you then because I, I got bake off in my head. <laughs> cheers, Katie. What if I just nick the switch off me to play Smash Bros? This is this is poor effort. Uh, have a word. Okay, let's put these up there. Okay. 
Because we used to do it. I joined in and made it their friends. It was just a bit stupid to just run the people. And you just being an asshole. Yeah. Yeah. And we use B days in the UK. No, no. Very, very few people have a B day in the UK. That ain't a thing. Use three seashells. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I thought I always thought a bidet was a foot washer when I was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. Take your feet in it, yeah. <laughs> Two mainline Nintendo games for ninety nine dollars, eighty four pounds. Pretty good. They're still pricey though, aren't they? I know it's that Switch game. Switch games are super pricey. Right, so this bit here is gonna become the field. Alright, so hmm? So let's come up to country fencing here. I used to think the B-Day was a mini toilet for kids. <laughs> I would, I would totally believe that. I would totally believe that, yeah. That they're just lying, so you don't sit there and try and stick your crappy ass in one. <laughs> posh houses in the eighties had a B day and a corner bath combo. Some very posh houses, I reckon. I don't want to know. Is a lovely girl. Oh, I just woke up. Saw there was attention going. All console games pretty pricey. Yeah, I haven't even I haven't really looked at PlayStation or anything to be honest. So it may it may well be that it's just a console game thing. But yeah, I did notice it was uh, it was pretty pricey here for Nintendo games. Like ninety ninety dollars, hundred hundred dollars almost for, for for games. That seems so expensive. That does. Well, it might just be that I'm used to playing more like Tycoons and Sims on the PC that are always like 20, 20 quid or whatever. Next time I stream, we'll be millionaires. It'll be quiet. Oh, I can't wait. So we didn't get Julian. Uh, we didn't get Fauna Julian. No, literally, he only has a B day. It's like some fantasy world crap. I think, I think like the like Western world, it's a bit of a novelty. But I think they're used quite commonly in in the Eastern Eastern world. I think, yeah, Eastern. You know what I mean? Like Asia, India, places like that. I think they're relatively common. They would probably think it weird of us to be using paper. Uh, okay, so we need some hay beds. Here we go. Place. What's going on? No, we're not opening all the boxes up there, and They're all packed up, ready to go home. Oh, ready to go to the new house. Yeah, see that's it. I never remember old games being that much. Like we, yeah, yeah like I remember, I'd save up pocket money. I used to get like a tenner a week pocket money or something. I'd save up pocket money for a month to buy a game. Like I, I remember thinking that like games were like 20, 30, 40 quid. I think the amount of times, oh yeah, no, it is reasonable. I have no real issue with them. Uh, I just, I think they're just expensive compared, comparatively, you know. There we go. We got much nicer space for the for the boys now. Are we are we stuck? Here we go. 
take those because I think they look good. We'll take Bob and Nathan. Oh, we're going to get in there. tissue and water so I totally understand the reader. Yeah, do you know what? I remember asking this question on Facebook a couple of years ago. How far away this is gross. How far away from your from your bum hole can poop get before paper's no good? Cause like you say, you got poop on your arm, you wouldn't just wipe it with tissue and go, well that'll do. You'd go and scrub you'd go and wash your arm with soap, right? So at some point there is a there's a radius around your sphincter. That poop getting further away than this. To toilet paper is no longer acceptable. That is a bath lock. So. <laughs> Where's those other two bits of trends? There we go. I just think these look good as like a hay storing type thing. There we go. Anywhere not on the cheek. So so like your cheek though, if you sat on if you sat in poop and you you, you just wipe it off, you wipe your cheek off with paper and you'd be okay with it. You know? To me, that seems cheeks, even cheeks are still far away. How is Xander going with no naps? How do you think it's going, Helen? <laughs> the brilliant discussion. <laughs> okay, let's put some weeds, and then we'll make this path a bit thicker, which is better. Who's sitting on poop? Well, you know, think these things happen. Who knows? Tooth wire, please. Oh, whatever it's on offer usually. Doesn't fuss me too much. <laughs> yeah, people put their mouths around the water fountains. That's awesome. For our reference. Okay, so that'll grow in nice. That'll grow in nice. Uh, I might have a tree in here. Oh, a pear tree. Cool. Uh, ben O'Connor just using toilet paper to wipe a normal poop. Anywhere else is a definite no. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh dear, dear, dear. Right, so let's put let's put uh, this dirt path back in. Oh, then uh, nothing wrong with him. Just have a tantrum. Sorry, you have to hear it. Sorry, everybody. He doesn't need a dig. He needs to sit down in timeout and chill out. Is what he needs to do. Say again. Yes, this is this is it's just a bit of discipline is all. I feel like I generally have pretty clean boobs. <laughs> no, we don't have much to wipe away. Who's managed to get the poop that far from the source? <laughs> Maybe the radius of a 50p if normal. <laughs> Curry poop. <laughs> there we go. Talking about poop now. Yeah, we're talking about how far away from the butthole poop can get before wiping it with paper is not acceptable. <laughs> Joyce has told the dump. Yeah, there you go. See? He's had time out. He's chilled out. Did you open Daddy's box? That's not good, is it? 
Can you come and say sorry to everyone for crying? Bye. Good boy. Oh, I know. I know. It's okay. Some time out done now. Oh, mommy, clean this. Mommy sweeping up. Good That's good, isn't it? Say good girl, mommy. Good girl, mommy. Mommy, boy. Are you going to be a good boy now? Mommy, boy. Oh, Wally. Oh, Wally. That good boy. Hmm. Peace. You want to catch it? Uh -huh. oh, okay. Catch one butterfly, okay? Net. With the net, that's right. In the big net. You're going to try and catch him? Uh -huh. Come on then, what do you do? Uh -huh. <gasps> missed. Oh, missed. Yeah. Right, you're going to have to get me close. <laughs> I'm going to have to get closer to him now. Hold on. Okay, go. No, wait. <laughs> this is why we don't do butterfly catching much with Zand. Ready? <laughs> Oh, nearly. Try again. Quick, quick, quick. Press it. Quick. No, that's my thumb. Look what, you, look what you're pressing. <laughs> that's it. That one. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, got him. Another one. Another one. That's it. Do some more later, okay? Yeah? Next one. Next one later. Off your pop chop. The mum is cleaning. What are you doing? There we go. The stuff happens and sometimes all we can do is have a bit of a cry. That's true. Okay, so we've got a nice field here and there. We might have something up here if we can find something. Depends if we're not. Yeah, they can they look great, but then when you do something like that, they can be really annoying. So now we'll fill out this bit and put the well back in, I think, here. There we go. That's a great style. I know, right? That's it. That's a tomorrow. I get to shut myself away. That was his last hurrah. <laughs> no, that was, yeah, probably the first uh, proper tantrum you guys have heard. He doesn't have them very often. Just sometimes it just gets a bit too much, doesn't it? as well yeah Weeds Bix Things about great memories of screaming children can't wait for all the tantrums coming my way tomorrow. Oh I know. That would be so wired tomorrow. Watching with my seven year old nephew, introducing him to the geek in life. Hi! Hi, Becca's nephew. Sometimes I wish it was okay for me to throw a tantrum. <laughs> is the June Bugs video ready for tomorrow? It sure is, Jaden. Yep, all ready. Well, I've got to, I've got to do some. Um, uh, search engine optimization on it, but the actual video is recorded. It's quite an exciting one. I hope it goes down okay. We've got our first um, paid sponsorship as part of the video tomorrow. I'm hoping people don't get too annoyed. You know, that I'm trying to earn a living. <laughs> Finally up, who moved in? Uh, they're not in until tomorrow, but it's whoever that duck is on the thumbnail of the video. Melee? Did we decide what we were calling her? Melee? That's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully it uh, goes down okay. It's in like a minute. Minute of the video it has to be chat chat about summit. Nobody should get annoyed about that. Well, no, but they do. <laughs> so hopefully the amount of people who don't is more. <laughs> Anything good? I think so. Yeah, I'm not meant to talk about it until tomorrow, unfortunately. But it's just it's a it's you'll have seen it on other videos. It's nothing crazy special. It's just a it's one of those companies that does a lot of a lot of uh, uh, sponsored videos. 
It's not Weetabix, no. I'd be to totally down for Weetabix to sponsor me, though. I'm actually working on some new videos for another channel at the minute, and I'm desperately trying to shoehorn ways of, like, getting beer or something into it so we can see if we can get a beer sponsor. <laughs> Never mind sponsored videos yet. No, it's not the whole video. It's just a sponsored segment. It's one of those ones you've seen before, like uh, uh, Squarespace, that kind of thing, you know. Let's make sure something that's right. So no fauna, no fauna. So I'm doing a little bit of dark here because make, it makes it look like the, the, the floor is a bit darker where the well is. There we go. So that can go there. And I want to get a wooden bucket. Which we don't have yet. That's going to annoy me that I can't get through that way. I have to remember that. That we have to come down the beach. That'll depend on who's sponsoring John T and how you deal with it. Imagine John T starting to all excited about hemorrhoid cream. I, excuse me. I am a big fan of hemorrhoid creams. <laughs> it's a product I use... Um, and it's a, it, you know, it's a product I like. It isn't particularly tied into geekism in any way, but they got in touch, and I said, "Yeah." Um, so yeah. We'll be totally shocked. No, exactly. Maybe that's it. Maybe I'm planting the seed so that you're ready for the hemorrhoid, hemorrhoid cream commercial tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, the excitement might be a bit too much. I think it's the uh, it's the extreme close up of of um, applicating video. <laughs> it's not it's not it's not Footner, the perfect uh, sock for getting crap skin off. What's it called? Exfoliating sock. Still there. I haven't used mine yet. I'll get around to it. It's not Raid Shadow Legends, no. No, see, I wouldn't do it for something like that that I just don't think is a good product. Yeah, it's got to be something that I actually do like. <laughs> okay, so we need some wooden iron. If it's Wix or it's not Wix or so. Although I do use Wix, it's not Wix. Uh, oh, you can customize the butter churn. Uh, I don't know. I prefer sponsor videos to ads. They use more time to what I'm watching, less random. Yeah, this is true. But you know, I prefer the dark wood. And the water pump as well, what about that one? Oh, we've already done that one, I think, haven't we? Green, black, silver. Yeah, yeah, we've already gone to the brown there. That's the better option. Okay, anyway, let's uh, let's craft. Uh, audible skill shit. No, neither of those. It's an actual product. It's an actually physical thing you can hold in your hand. Audible's a big one, though. I think not only is Audible a big one, and it always has been a big one, especially with podcasts and stuff. I think a lot of people are making the kind of content that Audible will likes to add on to as well. And Audible is kind of a good product at the time, current time at the moment, I think, you know. Um, Customise a butcher, what else could we want? Exactly. That's actually what the uh, sponsor is tomorrow. It's a, it's, I've got it here, it's, a, it's an actual customisable butcher. So again, I'm just I'm pl planting the seed now. Okay, we've got a wooden bucket. There we go. It's Amiibos. No, but I have had so many dodgy sites that sell bells and stuff get in touch over the last month or so looking for ad uh, looking for ad reads. Obviously, I've ignored all of them. But yeah, a lot of those, like $15 for 10,000 bells. It's yeah, $15 for 10 million bells or whatever. I've had a lot of those get in touch recently. Uh, 
a diddle do do Mohawk die, that's a good one. What was that about? What was that about, thingy? Out of interest, if you do a section in your video where you talk about a product and people skip it, does that get registered somehow or means you get less money? No. No, not at all, no. The way it usually works with, with like, a, like a, a what, what they call a baked-in ad like that, so it's not an ad that YouTube's running. Uh, it's an ad that I've actually sort of edited into the video. It'll usually be just a, an, they pay X amount. Actually, there's kind of three ways, I suppose. There's, there's one that's like, here's, here's X amount of money to put this ad in your video, end of. Uh, or there's, a, like, there'll be an affiliate link, so go to product.com slash geekism for 10% off or free shipping or whatever and then they can they can track how many uses that has and they pay you per use of the link or there's a combination of the two you get a little bit of money up front and a and then a and then a percentage of sales that's usually how they work um and I'll, and that usually includes like like free a free a free copy of the product as well you know to to show off and use and stuff as well I've got, there's meant to be something else coming as well, but I think it's coming from China and it's not showed up yet. I don't know about that. Right, so that's the well. That's good. That's that area over there done. So this is the next one. This is the big one, really. This is where they're actually going to have the, like, the lines of plants and stuff. Uh, Andrew's gone mad with power. Oh, no, what's he done? I did it again. Sorry, Curse T. Was it Curse T last time as well? Oh, no. <laughs> Andrew Fitz is there, like to pick up your slack. Another person gone to the void. Talindra still still there, uh, sore about it happening last time. Uh, Ford five minute Ford ads. Is that the is that the car Ford? Or the politician Ford. We'll start, you'll start getting all the uh, primary ads, won't you, soon? All the American uh, ads, political ads, will ramp up soon. Oh, so if we all click your sponsor link, you'll get some. No, no, you have to go and buy the products. <laughs> um, <laughs> What's up? Well, why did you do that? I know what you did. Why did you do it? What's that? What? What? What's that? Lulu? Is that what you're watching? I'm watching Twirly Woos. Twirly Woos? You can watch Lulu Baby if you wanted to. Uh -uh. Lulu Kids. <laughs> anyway, right. The void is a scary place. <laughs> I was just talking. I know. Andrew's terrible. He gets so tr trigger happy. Cool. Right, I think we'll leave it there because I'm not. Well, actually, we'll just clear this area up a little bit. I'm not going to start the new zone, but this is what we'll do not tomorrow, the day after. Or oh, mate. No, I can't see myself being set up tomorrow night, so I don't want to rush it just to get a stream out. I'd rather get it done properly, you know. Get all your hello, your emojis ready for the Curse T returns. Yes, we will, we will have to wait for Curse T to return. Carford. I sincerely hope I don't get American political ads. I was just thinking, like, the, our. our uh, Premier is 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 Ford. I don't know if he was because he's pushing out ads on the radio. Not for re-election or anything, but like you know, COVID stuff. Thank you for staying indoors during this difficult time, that kind of thing. Sure, glad uh, COVID's disappeared in America though, so that all those people can protest. <laughs> They're going to have such a bad second spike. Not that I disagree with the protests, of course, but it's, it ain't going to be good for them. With COVID as uh, as prevalent as it was. Have we got any fruit on us? Two pears, nice. Uh, no, Joe, just just one video a day, mate. Um, what is Xander's favourite dish? Blah, 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 blah. What is Xander's favourite TV show? Um, what's up? 
There's no more shiny today. Only one shiny each day. Eddie's eating pears, moving these trees. Coming up left over night here, isn't that miracle? It's great. I'm glad you've all been out, out to be able to do that. Weird that you can't bring someone back if you accidentally to get rid of them. Who, who, uh, yeah, no, the, even I can't do it. Even I haven't got an undo mute. I can if I can unhide people, so we've got the ability to completely hide someone, like if they're just a complete troll or whatever. I can you can get rid of them, but uh, and I can undo that. But yeah, if it's like hide, if it's like a timeout for two minutes, there's no way of undoing the timeout. It's weird, really. At the minute, probably the garbage truck show, yeah. He goes between Paw Patrol, although that's kind of coming out of favour now. PJ Masks. Um, Twirly Woos, he likes. Cuddle Duck, you, Andrew Coulson. Cursed he's back. Daggy was digging on the beach, yeah. Um, I don't really want any more trees around. I mean, I, maybe one could go here and not look awful. Maybe not right on the edge there. Is that as close as I can do it? Oh no. That's really messed everything up. Trick in the campsite car games to get visitors to move. No, Julia, it's just you just have to keep doing it, unfortunately. That's a hello use back for Curse T, look. There was the void. The void. There's no place to plant it. Oh, it must just be too close to the edge. Okay, how about there then? That's a nice little spot for a tree. There we go. The void was lonely. I shall never recover. And tomorrow in the UK, six people can meet at a time. Right as the death has come back up. I know, right? Like, the death rate is higher in the UK now than it was when you started lockdown. It's crazy. Daddy. Yeah. Dig that way. Dig that way. You don't tell me where to dig. I tell you where to dig, mister. Right. That's it, we're all done. Oh, butterfly! We're all done, there's end. We don't have to catch it, no, it's okay. Oh, there's more butterflies, I know. But we're gonna go now, okay? I'm gonna say bye to everyone. No? No, I'm gonna say bye to everyone. And then we'll have some lunch. No. Daddy's gonna say bye to everyone. Bye, everyone! Do you want to do it? Doing it. Okay. We'll see you all, not tomorrow, but the next day. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. What is it? The down the dress. What's this? The horse. The horse. That's right. What's that one? The sheep. A sheep. That's it. Good job. Um, oh. Horse. Bumped. You horse. say bye to everyone. Horse. Say bye to everyone. Bye, Roger. Bye, everyone. See, see, see you soon. See you soon. Say like and subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> hey, good job. I'll get you doing this soon enough. So I can have a day off. See you tomorrow, folks. No, I won't. I'll see you the day after in a new house. Woo! Oh, what? Be good.